Hello Stevos and welcome to weekly vlog number 84. It is Monday the 2nd, 2nd of August 2021 and I am currently walking up the road to Castle Point at the moment as I'm going up to catch the bus into Bournemouth Town and I'm going to go and meet my support worker for an hour like I usually do on a Monday morning. So yeah, I'm just about to do that right now. So it is Monday afternoon and I'm currently watching EastEnders 2009, this week's batch of episodes on BBC iPlayer on my TV in my bedroom. Now drinking a cup of mocha. Now I'm watching this week's batch of episodes of EastEnders on BBC iPlayer on my TV in my bedroom. Now watching this week's, uh, last week's batch of episodes of Coronation Street on ITV Hub on my TV in my bedroom. So it is uh, Monday evening and I've just had dinner for dinner tonight. I had this cheese and ba bacon wrap uh, thing. It was a cooked thing um, which uh, my mum got last week in Aldi and I had that with some chips and some peas as well. And I had a little bit of a uh, saucy sauce to go along uh, the side of uh, of that as well for my chips. It was really, really nice. Definitely recommend it. If you if you do shop at Aldi, uh, it's a cheese and bacon wrap uh, twist thing. Uh, it's a pastry thing, but honestly, the melted cheese and bacon inside, oh, so good. Um, and I had a little bit of a Swiss roll uh, for dessert this evening as well. Um, and I've just come upstairs to my room um, as I'm just going to continue watching the last... A uh, couple of episodes of Coronation Street. I believe this might be from Friday um, on ITV Hub in my TV uh, on my TV in my bedroom. And I've also got a can, nice cold can of cherry Coca Cola uh, to go with it as well. Um, there's another thing that I wanted to tell you actually. I have got a little bit of breaking news to bring to. This weekly vlog. So you may remember that uh, ever since May uh, this year, I have uh, I've been continuously uh, talking about the 24-inch uh, iMac in blue. Um, and well, what can I say? Um, my bank is basically going to kill me. Um, but. <laughs> But I have gone and and brought one. That's right. I have actually brought an iMac uh, in blue, 24 inch. Um, I'm really excited um, by it. I really am. Um, because obviously it does mean that by the time we get to uh, September, basically this YouTube channel that you guys are watching right now is just going to basically become... The next generation of Steve Official, really. Um, you know, the journey will continue, but we have a lot more, a lot more professionalism to go with the vlogs. Um, obviously, there's going to be a new video editing software that I'm going to be using uh, probably from the beginning of September or halfway through uh, September, uh, which I'm really excited uh, for, to be honest. Um, really can't wait to get my teeth uh, stuck into that. Um, obviously there's going to be an unboxing video uh, coming out for it at the end of the month uh, which is hopefully uh, when I will be getting the uh, 24 inch uh, iMac fingers crossed um, and yeah I, I really really cannot wait um, it is going to be super exciting um, and obviously this is something I've wanted now for a very long time since it first got announced uh, back in May uh, this year and here we are now in August and I'm finally sitting down and talking to you guys and saying ah you know I'm 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 going to be getting one uh, towards the end of this month which is really really good um so yeah really can't wait uh, to get it and to unbox it and show you guys it and to use it on a daily basis um i know i'm going to get my use out of it um obviously i'm going to be video calling my friend kieran on it um on a wednesday and a sunday night as usual obviously i'm going to be vid video editing these videos that i create for you guys as well um from it as well yeah it's going to be amazing. Uh, it really, really is. And I really, really can't wait uh, to start using it. So, yeah. Happy days. Now watching The Simpsons on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom on this Monday evening. 
Good morning everyone, this weekly vlog is sponsored by Nando's. That's not really. Um, although if Nando's do want to sponsor me, you know, I don't know, give me a complimentary Nando's or something. You know, uh, well, I can always be in talks with Nando's. Uh, if, if they want to do a joint partnership with me on my YouTube channel, Steve Official. Anyway, it is, uh, it is Tuesday morning. I am back to work, everybody. That's a very big van that's just drove past me. Um, yeah, um, I am back to work. So, yay, after having a week off. Um, yeah, I had a wee cough. Um, <laughs> like, you know, um, so yeah. So I had a wee cough. Um, so, which resulted in me having a week off. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, I had some holiday last week, obviously. Had a really nice time on holiday. Went to Barbados. Uh, I went to the Channel Islands as well. Hey, I even got time to stop off at the Caribbean as well. Um, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyway, so obviously I'm back to work today. Um, and... I am now back to work until the 6th of September. Uh, the 6th of September is when I'm off work again for another week. Um, it's funny actually because obviously last week was the start of the school holidays. Um, so I took a week off at the beginning of the school holidays. Um, and then when I'm next off work, which will be the 6th of September, as I said, that's going to basically be when schools go back. So, yeah, so really, really looking forward to that. Um, anyway, uh, what else was I going to say? I think that's it, really, other than that. Um, but, yeah, I am back to work today doing a, what time, quarter past six or quarter past ten shift. I really, for a second, forgot uh, what time... I started and finished work, so that's a great start, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so really look forward to getting back to work and obviously working hard over the next month. Um, earn some hard-earned cash or money, um, you know. Um, so yeah, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing at the moment on this Tuesday morning as I'm walking to work. And it's also getting a bit darker now in the mornings as well. It's not as light as what it used to be about a week ago. Anyway. Okay, so it is Tuesday morning. I've, I've finished work. Uh, first shift back. Really, really good. Um, and I have obviously come home, got out my work uniform, and here I am on the backfield taking Buddy for his second walk of the day. Um, so it's a bit of an overcast day today. Um, after I've taken Buddy um, for his second walk of the day, I'm going to go home, make myself a cup of tea, drink that up, and then go shopping to B&M. So the next scene of the weekly vlog that you guys are going to see is of what I brought this week from B&M. Uh, so it is Monday afternoon and I have just had a quick social group call uh, with my support worker and their clients on Zoom and they're not doing too badly, had a lot of banter and a lot of laughs with them um, and obviously I've been to B&M as well over at Mallard Road Retail Park in Bournemouth um, and I am here right now to show you guys what I have got this week. Bit of an expensive shop this week, it was £18. Expensive shop. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I'll show you what I've got. So I picked up this super dry monster energy nitro. Now this I may give a go a little bit later on, maybe in this week's weekly vlog, maybe even in a couple of scenes time, because I've never tried this one before. So, you know, give me an energy boost. I might go and stick that in the uh in the fridge actually and have it nice and chilled um so i might do that anyway i also picked up as always in bnm a nice big bar of galaxy smooth milk chocolate as well it's not a bnm trip if you don't pick up a big bar of galaxy that's that's my view of it anyway um I also picked up these white coffee with sugars. There's 12 sachets in there. They're three in ones. So obviously it's just like powdered coffee, really, with powdered milk and powdered sugar. 
um, pretty much, all mixed into one powder. There's so much powder. Um, but yeah, it's white coffee with sugar. Now these are, I've got 12 sachets in there. Um, so that will keep me going for a little while. And on top of that as well, uh, my mum picked some up as well. But she picked up a two-in-one though. So it was just white coffee and powdered milk mixed together or blended together pretty much. Um, and again, that had 12 sachets in it because my mum doesn't take sugar when she has her coffees. Um, so there we go. I also picked up these six chocolate filled crepes as well, uh, which I could either have hot or cold, it doesn't matter. Although if I have them hot, put them in the microwave for literally 10 seconds and then boom, they're warm enough. Um, also this week I picked up a Cadbury Dream Bar as well, which it's my childhood, you know. So I picked that up. And I also, as well, picked up a Cadbury Caramilk bar. Because I did try this a few weeks ago in the weekly vlog, you may remember. And I thought it was absolutely delicious. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick up a, another um, another Caramilk bar. I also, this week, picked up some rainbow cookies. Because, again, like the Galaxy chocolate bar it's not a b&m trip if i don't pick up a rain some a packet of rainbow cookies because i love my rainbow cookies um so yeah i picked them up i also picked up a tub of pick a mix as well um which to be honest i'm probably gonna have either when i'm sat in my room watching a movie maybe on a friday night or something or i might just leave them and, and take them with me when i next go to the cinema next friday on friday the 13th of august um so yeah so and i also picked up some drumstick squashies these are original uh raspberry and milk flavor i always don't remember what the original flavor is so i always have to read the packet this one i know what flavor this one is uh, but i picked up some more drumstick squashies as well uh, these are bubblegum flavor so there we go and what else did i pick up oh and finally and again another thing that i may take with me to the cinema sometime um but i picked up these these are basically pick a mix uh but except this is in a bag rather than in a tub um but this is called movie mix um so it says ticket perfect for two well you know i i don't share i don't share things i really don't Maybe if I'm in a relationship, I will. Um, <laughs> but, you know, while I'm a happy single guy at the moment, um, yeah, <laughs> nothing gets shared. Um, so there we go. So that is, I believe, everything feeling around the bag. Yeah, that is uh, everything that I brought uh, this week at uh, B&M, of course. Tune in to next week's uh, weekly vlog where I will be doing another shopping haul. I believe that one will be Audi because we alternate. So one week we do B&M, the next week we do Audi. So yeah, so next week's uh, shopping haul on the weekly vlog will be from Audi. Now watching Family Guy on my TV in my bedroom. So I have got a cup of tea, I am watching American Horror Story on Netflix on my iPad and I have just made dinner. For dinner tonight I have got some spaghetti bolognese with some melted cheese on top. I'm going to tuck in. So it is uh, Tuesday night and I have just come upstairs with a nice cold can of cherry Coca-Cola. This is my last can that I have uh, in the fridge. Uh, so when I finish work tomorrow, I'm going to have to go and buy some more uh, from my work when I finish. Um, and obviously I've come back upstairs now. Uh, I'm going to watch American Horror Story. I'm on series two on Netflix at the moment, but I'm going to watch that on my TV, which is literally just there, look. It's right there where my finger is. Uh, I'm going to watch that on my TV in my bedroom uh, in just a few moments time. First of all though, um, I just put a message out across all my social media platforms uh, to say that I'm going to be doing um, an announcement um, on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter um, on Friday this week, uh, which is going to be talking about the future of the weekly vlogs that you guys are watching on this YouTube channel, Steve Official, um, and I'm also going to re uh, reveal the return dates uh, for Twitch and also uh, for 
uh, an app that I used to go on a very long time ago but stopped using a couple of months ago but I'm going to return back to it now but I'm going to be doing uh, a return date for an app called uh, Station Head which is available to download uh, on iOS devices and on Android devices as well. Uh, now, obviously, by the time this video goes out, uh, which will be Monday the 9th of August 2021, um, obviously, those announcements would have already been made uh, on, on my social media pages, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Uh, if you do want to give me a follow, by the way, on social media, you can do. Um, so, Twitter is at my name is Steve-O, with the O being a zero, um, and my Instagram uh, page is steve -Gram Official. Okay, I'll put the text uh, down below so you guys can see um, where to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. But, I'm going back to the announcements, though. Um, so, obviously... Um, obviously, the announcements would have already been made uh, on uh, social media. Um, so, I'm going to sit down now and talk to you a little bit about that um, and what it entails. So, I'm going to start off with Station Head first. So, Station Head is an app, like I say, it was an app that I used to use a very long time ago. I used it for a good month or so on my iPad. Um, and the last show that I actually did on Station Head, it's a radio thing, by the way. Uh, it's like an online radio station. Um, last time I used Station Head was actually May the 4th on Star Wars Day. Um, that was the last time I used Station Head. So I am going to be doing a brand new Sunday afternoon radio show on the app Station Head. Like I say, again, available uh, for iOS and Android users. Um, and that's going to be uh, on a Sunday afternoon uh, from 3 p.m. Uh, right through until 6 p.m. Okay, uh, so that's 3 p.m. till 6 p.m. Sunday afternoons, uh, starting from um, the 15th of August. Okay, uh, which by the way, by the time this video goes out, it'll be this upcoming Sunday, and it'll be every Sunday moving forward okay so 3 p.m till 6 p.m station head ios to android and android devices um every sunday starting from the 15th of august uh now the twitch streaming um so this is video game stuff um now i am thinking about doing twitch streams again um and i'm going to start doing that on a tuesday uh, afternoon and i'm going to start that um from the 17th of august 2021 and again it's going to be an every tuesday uh, stream uh, i'm planning to do a stream um from i'm going to say actually from 11:30 a.m. on a tuesday morning uh right through until around about 2 p.m. i'm going to try and see if i can last out a stream uh for that long uh the first stream like i say will be tuesday the 17th of august um and then obviously if you do miss my streams on twitch uh then of course you can go back and watch them watch the replays uh when they're available um and yeah so if you don't catch me live you can watch it on replay instead um and if you do want to give me a follow on twitch then please do it's steve crosby official uh the uh, that's the username on twitch i'll leave the uh the uh name uh, on the screen down below for you guys um and if you want to feel free to subscribe to me on twitch as well um uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe to me on Twitch. Be very much appreciated as well. Um, as I am now a Twitch affiliate. I am now a Twitch affiliate. So, yeah, so I will be getting back to Twitch uh, from the 17th of August. Again, it's going to be an every Tuesday thing from 11.30am right through uh, until 2pm uh, on a Tuesday afternoon. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's let's talk about the main thing. Uh, which is the vlogs that you guys are currently watching uh, right now. Um, 
So obviously I am doing this weekly vlog for you this week. Uh, the time this video goes out, as I say, is going to be the 9th of August. I've got a weekly vlog uh, coming out next week uh, for you guys, which would be the 16th uh, of August 2021. Next week's weekly vlog is going to be a very good one, okay? I'm going to be meeting up with Kieran. Uh, I am going to be going to watch a, a gig uh, outside, um, and hopefully I'll film some of it. So obviously I'll include it in the weekly vlog. Um, and maybe, I mean, I don't know, but maybe I'm going to try and work something out. Uh, but maybe uh, meet up uh, with Kyra um, as well. So that's something that I do also want to do. So we'll, we'll see what happens uh, with that. Um, I'm going to try and plan something with Kyra, hopefully, uh, towards the end of the week about meeting up next week. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, so uh, so that's next week's weekly vlog. That's the sixteenth of August, and then after that, uh, I am going to do one last weekly vlog on the twenty third of August. Um, now, when I say this is going to be my last weekly vlog, it's not going to be coming to an end. Uh, no, uh, obviously, uh, yeah. After all, I have just brought myself a iMac as well, <laughs> um, so. Yeah, so obviously the weekly vlogs are definitely not coming to an end, um, you know, and they are going to get longer, I do think. Um, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, it'll be very interesting to see how long I can make the weekly vlogs last now um, with a new iMac. But uh, the 23rd of August is going to be the last weekly vlog that I'm going to be doing. Um, and then what I am going to do is I'm going to take a little break, okay? Because obviously I came back and did weekly vlogs. I started with weekly vlog number 69. Uh, this is now weekly vlog number 84. So it's been a very, very long time uh, since I last uh, took a break uh, from doing weekly vlogs. Uh, so obviously it's just so that I can go away, ch recharge my batteries um, for me and for my vlogging camera of course um, and then after that I can then come back and I can provide you with some more uh, fantastic content uh, for you guys to enjoy. Uh, so obviously I'm going to be taking a break. So the last weekly vlog as I say will be the 23rd of August uh, and then there won't be a weekly vlog on the 30th of August. There won't be a weekly vlog uh, on the uh, 6th of September. However, there will be a week. The weekly vlogs will then return on the 13th of September. Okay, so there is going to be a kind of a two week break um, in between vlogging. Uh, both for me and for the for YouTube as well. Uh, but in the meantime, though, what I am going to do is I'm going to do a couple of separate videos, okay? So, obviously, in between that break, I am going to be getting my brand new iMac, um, okay? So, I am going to do an unboxing video of it. Uh, I'm going to edit that video through my iMac, definitely. Um, and I will get it out on YouTube, okay? Uh, as in, in, t in terms of a date, uh, I can't really... Uh, give you a date yet um, as to when that's going to be coming out um, but hopefully it will be either at the end of, all I can say for now is it'll either be at the end of this month or the very beginning of uh, September and then obviously there's going to be a weekend in between my weekly vlog break where Bournemouth Air Festival is going to be going on down at Bournemouth um, and obviously it wasn't on last year uh, because of Covid. It is going to be back this year. The Red Arrows are going to be back at Bournemouth as well uh, for this year's uh, Bournemouth Air Festival. Uh, so yeah, definitely I will go down there. I will Go and check out the Air Festival. I will vlog it. Um, and obviously, again, it'll be another video that I can edit on my iMac. Fingers crossed if I've got it at that point, uh, which I should do. Um, and I can definitely, um, obviously provide you guys with as much footage as I possibly can uh, to give you guys uh, in order to watch uh, on my on my on my channel so uh, so yeah so a lot of great stuff is coming up okay so obviously that's just the future of the weekly vlogs uh, like I say the 13th of September I have got a very very big weekly vlog lined up for the 13th of September okay um, obviously because the week prior to that um, it's going to be my next week off 
off work so obviously that will give me enough time to get down and do as much as I want and film as much as I want and then go away and edit it on my iMac and who knows I could come back on the 13th of September with a blockbuster uh, weekly vlog episode for you guys to watch could be an hour and a half it could be two hours Hey, it could even be a three hour Avengers Endgame style uh, weekly vlog who knows um yeah, so uh, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what happens on that. But um, yeah, but anyway, so that is a little bit of an update for you in regards to Twitch streams, Station Head Return, and also the future of my weekly vlog on my YouTube channel, Steve Official. So I have watched a brand new trailer today for the next Marvel series to hit Disney Plus, which will be on Wednesday the 11th of August 2021 so that's this Wednesday by the time this video goes out uh, the next Marvel series to hit Disney Plus is What If now it is an animated series it is the first animated series done by Marvel Studios themselves and I can confirm that it is 100% MCU canon okay so if you think to yourself this is not part of this isn't this has got nothing to do with the future movies or series or anything like that. Yeah, it does. It has it does it does have an impact on the movies that are gonna be coming out in the future and all of that. So yeah. So obviously uh series one starts on the eleventh of August. It is gonna consist of nine episodes. Uh, for this series, series one, um, and it was originally going to consist of ten episodes, but they've had to kind of reduce it because of COVID. Thanks, COVID. Um, and it's going to be the same with series two, so you can safely say that series two of What If has already been announced, um, pretty much. And again, it's the second Marvel series uh, on Disney Plus to announce a second season. Obviously, given the fact that Loki uh, season two has been announced already. Um, and again, series two is going to consist of nine episodes as well. So there we go, a little bit of update on that for you. And the other thing that I wanted to update you on was Star Wars. I know, I'm a geek. Bloody get over it, okay? I'm a geek. Um, so Star Wars have got a brand new Lego Halloween special uh, Star Wars called Terrifying Tales. Uh, it will be dropping on Disney Plus on October 1st. Uh, really, really can't wait to see that. I remember watching the uh, Lego Star Wars Christmas special last Christmas. Really, really funny. Um, so I've got high hopes that this Halloween special that's going to be coming out in October is also going to be really, really great. Can't wait. Really can't wait. Very good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, which means we are halfway through the week. And we are halfway through this week's weekly vlog. Um, of course, it is Wednesday morning and I'm currently walking uh, to work once again. Um, and I'm doing the same shift as what I did yesterday, which is quarter past six till quarter past ten. So that's the shift that I'm doing today. Uh, very quickly, actually, I didn't mention this, I didn't think, in last week's weekly vlog. But I'm going to very quickly talk about it now. Um, Doctor Who. Um, you can just tell that I'm just a geek all around. I mean, you know, I've spoken about Marvel, I've spoken about Star Wars, and now I'm talking about Doctor Who. Uh, so, last week uh, it was announced uh, that as part of the BBC's 100th anniversary next year, really can't believe that the BBC has been around for 100 years, but... There we go. Uh, they're now ancient. They're now dinosaurs. Um, yeah. So, as part of the as part of the BBC's 100th anniversary uh, next year, uh, Doctor Who is going to be airing three specials, um, and in let's, let's safely say in the last of those uh, three specials. Jodie Whittaker, who plays the first female Doctor and first, well not first female Time Lord, 
because there has been a female Time Lord before, but she plays the first Doctor anyway, to put it out there. Um, well, anyway, she is going to be stepping down as the role of the Doctor uh, in 2022, and Chris Chibnall, who writes the show, is also going to be stepping down as showrunner as well. Uh, and to be honest, Chris Chibnall stepping down is a godsend because I really don't like his writing. I feel like he has destroyed the show, you know. And I've 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 loved Doctor Who since David Tennant, you know. Um, so for him to come on in and basically ruin the show and you know make it all wokeified and all of that, I really don't like it. And it feels like. Feels like I'm watching the Sarah Jane adventures. It really does, you know. Really don't like it. So, I feel like Jodie Whittaker's Doctor has been done dirty, you know. I feel like she has with this showrunner. I feel like if this was under another showrunner, could have been different, could have been better, you know, but not really felt it. I mean, I've watched series 11, I've watched series 12, I'm going to watch series 13, just to see what, what it's like, I guess. And I'll still watch the, the specials next year. Um, but apart from that, though, I feel like it's just, it's just wrong. It is wrong. Um, so, yeah. Oh, hello. Bit of a flash uh, from one of the streetlights. Um, so, yeah. So, apart from that... I feel like Jodie Whittaker's Doctor could have done better under another showrunner. There we go. Um, so, but it'll be interesting to see who is going to be writing the show in 2023. Who's going to be the 14th Doctor in 2023 for Series 14 as well. Um, obviously, the BBC have already confirmed that, the, that Doctor Who will not be cancelled after Jodie Whittaker's run. And obviously, uh, they will be finding a new showrunner and a new Doctor, which will all be announced very, very soon. And of course, I'll give you guys an update on that uh, as and when that happens. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd give you that news. I don't think I mentioned it in last week's weekly vlog, so of course I'll give it a mention here. Um, but yeah, so there we go. It is Wednesday afternoon. The time is now six minutes past twelve at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. Um, and I have got home, got dressed out of my work uniform, and I am now out on the backfield taking Buddy for his second walk of the day across the backfield. Uh, just a quick update for you, actually, in terms of Disney Plus news, very quick, um, because American Horror Story season ten. Uh, which has been billed as double feature is going to be arriving on Disney Plus through Star uh, in October. Obviously, a, 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 a release date, a, yeah, a final release date will be announced in due course, obviously. Uh, but at the moment, the release window for that series is going to be in October. The spin off series to American Horror Story, which is billed as American Horror Stories uh, is going to be coming to Disney Plus um, on September 8th. Now, American Horror Stories uh, at the moment is um, is streaming on Hulu over in the US, which I'm very surprised that obviously we're getting it in September. I would have thought we would have got it not long after the US release, maybe at the beginning of August, but obviously that's not the case. And it's the same with American Horror Story. We're having to wait for American Horror Story season 10, called Double Feature, um, by two months, pretty much. Uh, which I think is a little bit weird because, you know, normally, I, th I would have thought normally, you know, we would get American Horror Story you know, uh, like the new episodes, like a couple of days after the US or or something like that. But it's weird now that we're going to have to wait a couple of months until we get American Horror Story double feature. Obviously, it starts streaming uh, over in the US uh, on the 25th of August. We're having to wait until October uh, until we can until we can watch it here in the UK. So 
hmm, a little bit strange. But anyway, that has been announced uh, this morning by Disney. Uh, so yeah, as I said, American Horror Stories is coming as a star original um, on September 8th. And American Horror Story Double Feature is coming to Disney Plus through Star here in the UK uh, in October. Oh, I'm absolutely knackered. It's uh, Wednesday afternoon. I've just got back from town with my mum because I had to take her to the dentist um, today. And just as a little thank you, she gave me a bottle of cherry Coca-Cola that I got from Wilkinson's. And I got a nice little bar of Galaxy Smooth Milk Chocolate as well from... Uh, from from Wilkinson's as well. So I am now going to go off, have a nap, and then in the next part of the weekly vlog, um, you guys are going to see everything that I'm going to watch on Disney Plus that's brand new this week. Um, so yeah. Anyway, catch you guys once I've had my nap and hopefully have more energy. For dinner tonight, I have got some fish pie and I'm also watching Puddles, the short circuit on Disney Plus on my iPad. Watching this week's episode of Chippendale Park Life on Disney Plus on my iPad on this Wednesday evening. Now watching episodes 13 and 14 of The Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse on my iPad. Now watching the brand new episode of Monsters at Work on Disney Plus. Now watching this week's episode of Turner and Hooch on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom. Now watching Marvel Legends episodes 10, 11 and 12 which are uh, Peggy Carter, The Avengers Initiative and also The Ravages as well on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom. Watching Shadow and Bone on Netflix. So earlier this week I got a Monster Energy Nitro and this is super dry apparently. I've never tried it before so I thought I would give it a try for the weekly vlog. So I'm just going to open the can now. La, 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 la. There we go. Oh it's filled right to the brim. Anyway let's give it a go. Do you want to know something? It does taste very dry. <laughs> like, of course it's liquid. But, it just tastes of dry liquid. And that doesn't make any sense. At all. Like, straight away. Just, just taste of dry liquid. Would I get it again? Probably not. Would I drink the rest of it? Yes, I will. Um, because it's Monster and I don't want to see a Monster Energy drink to go to waste anyway. Um, so, probably I'm going to give that a 3 out of 10. Because it's not, it's not the greatest monster in the world. You know, I still prefer like the, the, the punch ones, like the fruit punch ones. They're, they're the best. They're the best ones to go for. Um... Yeah, look, I I will drink it, of course I will, but don't think I'll purchase it again. But hey, it was worth a try. Real thing. Watching the Still Upshaws there. on Netflix. On Very good morning, it is Thursday morning. I'm currently on the backfield at the moment as I'm taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the backfield and it is slightly raining a little bit only very 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 lightly at the moment but i have a feeling it's going to be downpouring very very soon um so yes yeah, so that's what i'm doing at the moment obviously i'm going to be going to work today um i'm doing a 11:45 a.m uh, until uh, 5:45 p.m shift today at work uh, which is good um, so a little bit of overtime for me today, it's always good. Um, and also as well actually, I want to talk very quickly because obviously earlier this week uh, I announced in this weekly vlog that uh, I purchased the brand new iMac 24 inch uh, in blue. 
um, which I'm very, very, very excited to be getting uh, either, uh, well, towards the end of this month or the beginning of uh, next month as well. Uh, so it, is, it has been purchased. It's been purchased through the Apple website. Um, and obviously uh, they have given me a date um that date will be like i say either between the twin uh either um the date will be either uh the end of august or the beginning of september uh so yeah so that's what's going to be happening there um but also as well this week i've been looking at chairs i know that's how great my life is now i've been looking at chairs because I uh, really do want to get a gaming chair or something along those lines, either a gaming chair or an executive chair, um, which my mum has recommended that I should get because it'll be really, really good um, support for me, especially when I'm sitting down on my iMac, um, when it does arrive and, you know, and also as well, I do love a swivel chair, you know, um, I did used to have one. Uh, but then all of a sudden I started using a dining room chair, an old dining room chair as my chair in my bedroom uh, to sit on. So I kind of want to replace that now and obviously get either a gaming chair or a uh, executive chair. There's two chairs that I have looked at and there's two chairs that are currently down on my Amazon list at the moment. Um, so I will reveal more details on that next week in the weekly vlog because I'm thinking of purchasing either one, either either a gaming chair or an executive chair uh, in next week's weekly vlog so i'm looking forward to uh, revealing more details on that for you guys and also as well i'm planning to get a five terabyte hard drive as well an external hard drive for my imac because yes uh, my iMac does come uh, in 256 gig of onboard storage, um, but obviously that's not going to be enough storage, is it really? But five terabytes uh, of storage, though, is going to be more than enough uh, for me to obviously do my vlogs and edit my vlogs and uh, and obviously store other files on it as well. Like if I did Word documents on them, for example, or I wanted to upload photos onto my hard drive, I can do that uh, as well. So. So yeah, so there's a lot of reasons as to why I would want to get a 5 uh, terabyte hard drive, uh, external hard drive for my iMac when that does arrive, uh, like I say, either at the end of this month or beginning of September. So yeah, there is a couple of things that I do want to get before I do... Uh, before I do get my hands on the uh, 24 inch uh, iMac in blue um, and hopefully I'll get those uh, just before the iMac does arrive at the end of this month. For breakfast today, I have chocolatey squares. Just made myself a cup of mocha. Okay, so I am all ready for work. Got my work uniform on, got my jacket on. Just put my headphones in my bag as well to take with me to work. Uh, all I need to do now is literally just grab my phone, which is on charge at the moment, and then head out the front door. Uh, so yeah, I am gonna be continuing vlogging this evening, which will start from the next scene of this week's weekly vlog. For dinner tonight, I have got a uh, chicken pie with some potatoes, some peas and sweet corn, some green beans and some gravy. For the last 16 weeks on Disney Plus, we've been getting brand new episodes uh, every Friday of Star Wars The Bad Batch, uh, which is a spin-off to the animated uh, TV show uh star wars the clone wars um now obviously we've been getting as i say brand new episodes uh every week on a friday for the last uh 16 weeks obviously next week's um bad batch which will be on friday the 13th of august will be the last episode uh in the series uh the one that is basically now available to stream on disney plus episode 15 uh is part one um and obviously the part two of this two-part uh series finale will be ending on friday the 13th of august now uh, it has today been confirmed that we are going to be seeing Star Wars The Bad Batch return 
for a second series in 2022. Dave Filoni, the uh, director of the show, has confirmed this news along uh, with Lucasfilm and Star Wars uh, and Disney Plus social media pages themselves. Uh, the other thing that I do want to talk about is Marvel What If. Now, we haven't even seen the first episode yet of Marvel What If, and already it's been confirmed that we're going to be seeing a second season of Marvel's What If. Now, this series series um literally could go on and on and on and on forever we could be seeing tons of seasons come out of this show because the possibilities with the characters from the marvel uh, cinematic universe and the the various possibilities and situations that the characters could end up in uh, in this series um it's just endless. So we could see tons of seasons of Marvel's What If. We could see as many as, probably like The Simpsons, 30-odd seasons. I don't think we will, but you never know. It could be a possibility. As they say, the possibilities are endless. But uh, obviously, the first season will consist of nine episodes. It starts Wednesday, the 11th of August um, on Disney+, Plus, and obviously runs for nine weeks. Um, and then the second season, it hasn't yet given been given a release window yet. Um, but I should imagine it may come out in 2022. It sounds like they're already um, going through production of um, the second season already or plans are already underway for a second season of Marvel's What If. So maybe it could be 2022 that we could see uh, Marvel What If return after the first season. Um, so yeah, so it's very, very interesting that these uh, shows have already been given the green light for a second season. I've been watching Star Wars The Bad Batch, as you've seen, over the last 15 weeks, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and obviously, I really can't wait to see this two-part series finale um, tomorrow and next Friday on Disney+. Plus. Um, so I will definitely be checking out season two of that uh, when it does arrive on Disney+. Plus. And in terms of Marvel What If, well, it's a Marvel show. And as I say, endless possibilities. Um, yeah, so I will definitely be checking out season two as well um, on that. So that's a little bit of an update for you in regards to some shows that have been renewed uh, for a second season on Disney Plus. Now I'm just about to have a can of cherry Coca Cola on this Thursday night while watching some episodes of Bob's Burgers on my TV in my bedroom through Disney Plus. Currently watching series 2 episode 11 of American Horror Story on Netflix on my TV in my bedroom on this Thursday night. A very good morning. It is Friday morning. Just woke up and just got dressed. Let's have a look and see what the weather is looking like outside my window this morning. It's looking a little bit a little bit cloudy out there this morning. We have a little bit of a breeze as well. Also as well my neighbours having some work done which is why there's some scaffolding there but anyway um, but yes it is looking a little bit cloudy this morning well the weather can't make up its mind one minute it wants to be sunny the next minute it's just very cloudy anyway um, I'm currently out on the backfield taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the backfield and Buddy's been a bit naughty um, last night for some weird reason he started whelping before I took him out for his last walk on the backfield last night. I don't know why. And then when we got back, he was whelping again. And then when we, um, when we, um, yeah, when we got back, he was whelping. Then when we went to bed, when I went to bed again, he was still whelping. My mum had to get up three times last night to tell him to be quiet because he was just whelping. And then after that, I came down this morning after getting dressed and his food bowl was tipped all over the place. His water was tipped all over the place and the holder where his food bowl and his water is normally kept Somehow or other, he managed to take his food bowl and his water bowl out of the holder and started moving the holder around the dining room. So, he's done all of that in the space of last night. Weird dog. Anyway, he has been naughty, honestly. Um, very, very naughty boy today. 
So I have just had uh, breakfast. For breakfast I had some chocolate squares now. I'm just about to make myself a cup of tea. So it is Friday afternoon. I have just got back from seeing my support worker and I've just made myself a cup of tea and I'm also currently watching uh, Futurama on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom. Uh, but as I was just saying, I have just got back from seeing my support worker. Really, really good. We did speak a little bit about Suicide Squad because we've both seen that and uh, we really loved that movie. Um, and obviously we spoke about other things that we needed to uh, speak about within my uh, support. Uh, so yeah, it's all it's all good. So anyway, yeah, so all good. And oh, the other thing is as well, is I also stopped off at Castle Point. Um, I went into Cash and Exchange briefly, because um, I had a little bit of time to kill. That weren't too bad. There's a couple of things in there which I looked at um and then after that i then went to asda to get a drink and then i met up with my mum at smith's toy superstore over at mallard road retail park because it's my nephew's birthday later this month so i had to get him a birthday present it's a paw patrol uh present um because he really likes his paw patrol so i got that for him for his birthday and a card as well um so yeah so all in all not a bad afternoon Okay, so it is that time of the week where I'm just going to go onto the Anchor app on my iPad and I am going to find out how many people have viewed my podcast. Uh, it's had two plays this week and the same with last week as well. Uh, that one down there has had seven plays. Uh, it's not really too bad, to be honest. So I do get a good audience. I've got 486 total plays for the podcast, which is quite a lot, to be honest. Anyway, I'm going to hit the record button, and I'm going to start this week's podcast, which you guys can listen to uh, on Spotify Music, uh, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Just simply search for Steve's Weekly Podcast. Right, hit in record now. Friday afternoon, just finished watching the seventh episode of Panic on Amazon Prime Video on my TV in my bedroom. Now watching the final episode of The Mysterious Benedict Society on Disney Plus on my TV in my bedroom. Watching the penultimate episode of Star Wars The Bad Batch on Disney Plus. Watching the Upshaws on Netflix. Watching Netflix original series Daybreak on my iPad. So I'm just about to have a can of cherry Coca-Cola on this Friday night. All the whilst watching Black Mirror on Netflix on my TV in my bedroom. Now watching the Netflix original movie Blood Red Sky on my TV in my bedroom on this Friday night. Hello, good afternoon. It is Saturday afternoon. I have got home from work after doing a 6.15 to 11.15 shift at work. Um, and I've come home, got out my work uniform and got dressed and now I'm out on the backfield taking my dog Buddy for his second walk of the day around the backfield. Uh, so there we go. Uh, I've got my brother coming over today with my nephews because it is my youngest nephew, Lucas. It's his birthday uh, next week. So um, so yes, happy birthday uh, to Lucas for next week. Um, and I really am looking forward to seeing him and hopefully we might see his reaction to the presents uh, that we have brought him, which we brought him a a couple of days ago in fact it was only yesterday actually that we brought them um, so and obviously he has got a birthday cake from us as well so we might be able to sing him happy birthday and cut his birthday cake that we got him and have a little bit of birthday cake with him so that'd be really nice um, so yes yeah, so that's what I'm doing uh, this afternoon at the moment uh, apart from that that's pretty much it so um, yeah so I'm gonna spend some time with my family Okay, so it is Saturday night and I have just got myself a nice cold can of cherry Coca-Cola and I am on Disney Plus and I'm just about to start watching The Walking Dead on Disney Plus. That's right, I can never stop getting over saying The Walking Dead is on Disney Plus. Um, now, obviously at the, start, at the start of the week I was binge watching American Horror Stories now, given the fact that um, given the fact that series ten, um, which is called Double Feature of American Horror Story, isn't going to be arriving on Disney Plus until October, I've decided that I'm going to prioritise The Walking Dead now because there's new episodes of The Walking Dead uh, coming to Disney Plus 
on Monday the 23rd of August and obviously new episodes will be dropping weekly uh, for the 11th and final season of that show um, so yeah so I'm gonna start watching The Walking Dead now so that hopefully by the time we get to the 23rd of August I will hopefully have watched all 10 seasons and then as soon as I'm done watching The Walking Dead then I will then get back to watching American Horror Story. I might just start American Horror Story again from series one and then just yeah continue binging it um, hopefully and then yeah and then by October I'll be finished that and then I'll be able to watch a double feature of American Horror Story. Um, so there we go. So yes I'm just about to watch The Walking Dead right now on Disney Plus. Afternoon everybody, it is Sunday afternoon and I have just got home uh, from work after doing a uh, quarter to seven till uh, 11.45 uh, shift today at work. Um, so I'm just currently getting out of my work uniform. Yes, today's part of the weekly vlog is sponsored by Pepsi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much is um, so yeah so not bad shift at uh, work today um, I just wanted to tell you about what my plans are for this afternoon uh, because I am going to be going out uh, somewhere I am going to be seeing uh, my friend Nick it's been a few weeks I'll probably say it's been about a month maybe a month and a half since I last uh, saw my friend Nick um, so I'm meeting him today um, and we're probably going to go maybe to Starbucks which is what we usually do anyway uh, we usually go to Starbucks and have a coffee together um, and then after that we then basically um, uh, basically just have a chat and a coffee um, and stuff so yeah so that's what we're going to do uh, this afternoon so it'll be a nice couple of hours out um, it was raining this morning but now the sun appears to have come out so who knows we might even end up sitting outside or something and having a chat as well which would be really really good so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing him and uh, hopefully towards the end of the weekly vlog which will be in the next few uh, moments uh, I will probably just update you guys and tell you how it was and uh, yeah um, just talk about what we spoke about and maybe what I had at Costa at Costa at Starbucks um, and yeah we, we will uh, we'll go from there <laughs> Now taking Buddy for his second walk of the day across the back field on this Sunday afternoon. Uh, by the way, can I just say that this morning before uh, my work opened uh, for customers, I was uh, listening to a brand new podcast. Well, I say brand new podcast. It's been a while. It's been around for a while. Um, but I've been listening to it because there's a YouTuber who I tend to watch called Greg's Gadgets. Um, and obviously he's a tech reviewer and obviously he's, he's quite big on like Apple products and stuff he has um, been reviewing things like the new uh, 24 inch M1 iMac which is what I'm getting uh, towards the end of the month or beginning of September fingers crossed um, with everything going well hopefully um, and obviously he's done like other reviews like iPad Pros and all of that. So uh, check his YouTube channel out if you're into your gadgets and tech. Because uh, honestly he is a really good YouTuber. Um, and he does also report on things like uh, some of the latest uh, Apple rumours as well. Um, so yeah, so check his YouTube channel out if you can. Um, but I've been listening to something called... Um, uh, gadget cast on uh, the on podcasts uh, on Apple Podcasts, and it's a really really good uh, podcast to be honest. Obviously, again, they do talk about all sorts of tech. They don't just talk about Apple stuff. They talk like Nintendo Switch and Windows 11 and uh, and everything else in between. So it is a fantastic podcast. Um, and again, they've got a YouTube channel called Gadget Cast as well. Uh, so feel free to give them a listen on Spotify Music, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts as well i started listening to them uh this morning during work um and honestly fantastic podcast i uh, definitely do recommend it especially if you are a tech whiz or gadget whiz like me so it is uh it is sunday 
night. I'm just about to have some dinner. For dinner tonight I've got uh, tuna pasta bake for dinner uh, tonight. So I'm just about to go downstairs and eat that. And I'm just about to watch series 1 episode 5 of The Walking Dead as well on my iPad. Um, now I'm going to wrap up this week's weekly vlog in just a few moments time. But first of all uh, I just want to talk to you guys about uh, my friend Nick because I went and saw him. I've literally just got back uh, from seeing him and it was good it was good it was nice to catch up with him again because i haven't seen him um for probably i'd say probably for a good month maybe month and a half uh, was when i last saw him so it was really nice to uh catch up with him and uh, see what he's been up to and obviously for him to find out uh what i've been up to as well uh we had loads of laughs together as well which was always good um so yeah, it was very nice to meet up with him. Uh, we went for a Starbucks um, and we both had a, a nice cold uh, frappuccino drink. Um, and I also had a ham and cheese panini as well for lunch, uh, which was really nice. Um, so Starbucks is a little bit overpriced though, not gonna lie, a little bit overpriced. Uh, but it's fine though, you know, I mean, it, was, it wasn't too bad. It was still under a tenner. So, you know, um, <laughs> anything over a tether, I'm like, Ugh. Uh, when it comes to, like, eating out. So I'm like, yeah, watch my money. Um, but, uh, but no, it was nice, though. And obviously we had a nice laugh. And uh, after that, we then went and had a nice long walk uh, along the Upper Gardens in Bournemouth. Um, I, when I say long walk... I mean, an extremely long walk to the point where we got to an area of Upper Gardens that not even I have been uh, to before. Uh, we we went far. We went absolutely far. Uh, we probably went around about half a mile. No, not even half a mile. Maybe one and a half miles away from the town centre. That's how far we walked. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to take my vlogging camera um, and go up to the upper gardens and show you the area uh, that I've never that I've now been to. But obviously, yeah, it is quite a nice area. Um, it's quite open as well. So I may take my vlogging camera um, at some point and take you guys there um, and just show you around the area. I think that'd be nice. Um, I think I've vlogged at the upper gardens before in Bournemouth, but yeah the area i went to today i've never vlogged there before so maybe it'll be nice to show you guys that area at some point um maybe in the uh return weekly vlog that i do at the end of the summer um in september I might do it then uh who knows um but yeah in the meantime though it was really really good to meet up with nick and uh see him and see how he is and uh just have a general chat about all sorts of things really it's just nice that you know i've got friends that i can connect with um you know in all sorts of ways um so it is really really nice um next week i'm going to be meeting up with kieran um and fingers crossed he might be in the uh, weekly vlog next week uh i'm sure um so i will take my vlogging camera and i'll do a bit of vlogging in pool uh when i see him um and yeah we'll, we'll have a great afternoon together uh, me and kieran we always do uh, and we always do have a good laugh uh, so i'm looking forward to meeting up with kieran uh, next week um so yeah so that'll be uh, hopefully that'll be uh, happening in the weekly vlog next week um also as well coming up in next week's weekly vlog i may have a brand new chair that i may set up i may show you guys uh, maybe towards the end of the week or something uh, so that's going to be happening in next week's uh, weekly vlog fingers crossed um and the final thing that will be coming up in next week's weekly vlog will be obviously my shopping haul uh, it'll be what will it be next week audi i believe yes audi next week so it'll be an audi shopping haul next week uh followed by uh some walking dead binge watching obviously i'll keep you guys updated on my walking dead binge i'm trying to get up to series 10 by the time we get to the 23rd of august as i said earlier in the weekly vlog um because obviously the uh, new episodes start on the 23rd of August on Disney Plus here in the UK. So I need to kind of watch all 10 series by that date. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on that in next week's weekly vlog as well. 
All that and so much more. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a bit of a long one this week. Th uh, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. Um, if you are new around here and you want to become a Stevo, then uh, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, that's all from me. I'll be back next Monday with another weekly vlog. Uh, but from me though, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you next week.